Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, and today we are at Disney California Adventure Park for the debut of Rogers the Musical. It's June 30th. We're going to show you everything that you need to know about attending Rogers, plus all the seasonal food. So let's get going. Here we go. Made it into Disney California Adventure. Let me tell you, it was a madhouse getting into the park today. I arrived up here at Anaheim at 740. Usually, that's no problem. Get straight into the parking garage. I can walk through downtown Disney, make it to the front entrance by 8 o'clock-ish, maybe a little bit after. But there was traffic backed up onto I-5. The parking garage line was insane. The bag check line was insane. Basically, it took me an hour, hour to get through all of the preliminaries just to make it into the park. Keep that in mind. I don't know if that's summer related or if that's Rogers related because today is the first day of Rogers the Musical. As I head down Sunset Boulevard to Hyperion Theater, just to poke around that area first thing here in the morning, we got banners for Rogers all up along the sidewalks. During Rogers the Musical, they will also be having a special food items that are available. One of them's here at Award Wieners. We're gonna try to try out uh, all of these food items throughout the day, or at least most of them. So one of them's over here at Schmoozies. We're just gonna go show you that sign right now. Here's a look at that specialty menu item, red, white, and blue shake. Over here at the Hollywood Lounge, wow, there is quite the line set up over here. They do have a premium viewing experience that you can purchase, and my guess is that that is what this line was for because they just announced they're sold out and the line is dispersing. Uh, so you have to do that early. It is 8.45 in the morning, $29 if you intend to do that. Get here early. At the Hollywood Lounge, they have a couple of seasonal beverage items here, blue cherry hard tea, as well as a patriotic punch. This one is non-alcoholic and this one is alcoholic. How can you tell the difference at a blush aside from the, the price point? Uh, at Disneyland, all the alcoholic drinks have yellow rims. The non-alcoholics do not. They have four show times throughout the day and they do only sell those premium viewing experiences day of. So you do have to come here day of. The show runs Tuesday through Saturday. It does not run on Sunday or Monday. They said the show is dark Sunday and Monday. So if you're coming during those days, unfortunately you won't be able to get to watch Rogers. Over here at the Shawarma Palace is another specialty item, which I think we're gonna get here in a minute. Here at Terran Treats, just outside of Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is another Rogers the Musical specialty seasonal item. And that item is like an apple pie pizza. Take a look at that, we're gonna grab it right now and try it out. While I'm waiting for my food item, let's keep talking about Rogers. So if you do not want to pay the premium $29 experience, I believe that's per person, uh, there is another way, that the free way to go, and that is through virtual queue. A little bit later on in the day, we will show you how to do virtual queue. And they drop at 10.30 and two o'clock. 10.30 for the first two showings of the day and two o'clock for the second two showings of the day. You'll have to join that virtual queue if you want to see Rogers the Musical without paying for the premium experience. Keep in mind that this like an apple pie pizza takes about five minutes to make. It's actually going through a little gray like oven over there. They're making it fresh. Uh, so it's, it's, it's gonna take a little while. It's not like uh, something they just hand you and go, but at least you know it will be fresh and delicious. All right, we're gonna dig into this thing. The, app, the like an apple pie pizza. Uh, baked fresh in front of me. It's got some cream cheese here on the top, a little uh, dehydrated apple bit. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to eat this. I mean, it's supposed to be like a, a pizza. So let's, let's eat it like a pizza. Very crunchy. The outside is perhaps baked a little too long, almost to the point where it's burnt. Uh, so they probably should speed up their cooking process a little bit. All right, let's try another bite. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like how burnt it is, but that could just be first day jitters. You know what I mean? They're not quite sure how to cook it, being the first day of food. But get it if you want it, but it could be a pass for me. Once I got further into that apple pie, it actually tasted pretty good. It was just the burnt outsides that wasn't that great. So uh, if you happen to get a burnt outside one, just go get a knife at Pim Test Kitchen and cut off 
the burnt portion because the rest of the treat is actually pretty tasty. I also just confirmed that the shawarma palace pizza roll thing that they've got for Rogers is only available at 11 o'clock. Even though it's open earlier, that food item doesn't become available till 11. Most of the food items actually aren't available until 10.30 or 11 o'clock later on in the day. So show times are 12.30, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and 5.30. And it does have a virtual queue. You can join the virtual queue on the Disneyland app, or you can scan this QR code just outside of the entrance to the Hyperion Theater in order to join that virtual queue. I'm here today for the opening of Rogers the Musical, thanks to my friends at Getaway Today. If you want to book your own Disneyland vacation, give them a call and tell them that SoCal Disney Dad sent you. You'll be able to save $10 on your next package that way. On top of their already discounted rates, you can also click the link down in the description and use my coupon code. At 10.30, I attempted to grab a virtual queue of Rogers. I'm going to put some footage here on the screen of exactly what I do. You just open up the app, go to the virtual queue, confirm your party, and then I often go and look at like an atomic clock to show me the exact time so I don't have to guess when it's going to click over. And then I just flip back over to the app when it's time and start mashing the refresh button until that join queue uh, appears. I clicked it right away, I mean right away, and I did not get in to either of the first two shows. That is insane. I have never failed to get a virtual queue when it comes to like Rise of the Resistance. I always, always got in. So to not get one is insane. I didn't need one anyway, thankfully, since I have the premium viewing experience. So I'm sort of glad that I didn't get it. I was doing it to show you how it's done, but I didn't want to take a spot from somebody else. I mean, I am just one person. It's not like I would have taken a whole lot, but still, wow. Oh man, those things are gonna disappear fast. Don't you miss the days where you could just go and stand in line? Now we're coming back to Hollywood Studios here because we're gonna go to the Hollywood Lounge. Here it is, my patriotic punch. I ordered it at the Hollywood Lounge, but they actually sent me over here to the studio catering company to pick it up. Here it is. This is a Sprite and white cranberry with like sauces and things. I'm not very good at remembering what exactly it is. I'll show you a picture, but uh, this looks pretty good. No, I don't like whipped cream, so I scraped it all off to give this a try. Mmm, that's pretty tasty. Wow, I really like this. I like Sprite and I like cranberry juice, so this is, this is delicious. Wow. I'm surprised by how much I like this, actually. I don't drink soda all that often, that's why I'm surprised. I, I like Sprite, but I don't drink it all that often. So, highly, highly recommend. You definitely go get this. Non-alcoholic patriotic punch from Hollywood Lounge. Back here, right next to the studio catering company, is Rogers the Musical Premium Viewing Experience Check-In. So that's what we're going to get in line for. And uh, they've got a special little photo op over here. I think this is also where we pick up our drink and a popcorn bucket back here as well. Uh, they've also got a little lounge where we can hang out in uh, previously to the show. That's all those seating tables back there. And over here we have the popcorn buckets. Awesome. So the premium experience comes with a popcorn bucket as well as this patriotic kettle corn. Can't wait to try that, as well as a drink. I don't drink very much soda, so I just got a water, but they did have Coke, Diet Coke, and Sprite, I think. Back here in the lounge area, it looks like they got patriotic Jenga right there, as well as some patriotic cornhole. So games that you can play while you're waiting. The check-in began at 11 a.m. The show was at 12.30 for the first show that I'm going to here. And they said to be back. You can come in and out as you please. You just got to be back at 12 o'clock here in this area for the uh, seating process. And they'll let you choose your own seat once you get in there. And right there is a look at the photo op. Here are my photos that I took. I'm very awkward, so excuse that. We'll come to the Shawarma Palace here to get a specialty Rogers food item. It is the shawarma itza, Italian sausage, pepperoni, mozzarella, pepperoncini, and a garlic parmesan wrap with marinara dipping sauce. 
in. Here it is, the shawarma pizza. We're gonna open it up, see what's inside. Got the Italian sausages, they said, some nice cheese, peppers, some pepperoni. That's what it looks like. We're just gonna fold it back up here. Try it. No marinara first. Pretty good, all on its own. Dip it in some marinara now. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Marinara was fantastic. But I think I'm just gonna take the marinara and pour it on here. I'd rather just put it on. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. mm. Wow, is this good? Not sure how I think about it in comparison, like to the regular shawarma, because I like the shawarma meat compared to the Italian sausage. But this is this is a fantastic, fantastic item. At 12 o'clock, you line up to be taken inside for the show. Keep it up, guys. Welcome to Hyperion Theater, everyone. So when we got in here, we got to choose our seats, and I'm like literally the only person that's sitting in this section here. Uh, everybody else chose to sit over in that section, and you know, that's their prerogative. I wanted an unimpeded view of the stage. And when I flip the camera around, I'm right on the end. There's not gonna be anybody's head in front of me. I won't have to worry about holding my camera up too high because I don't want my filming to disturb anybody else. And um, that's just a look at what seats got filled up by the premium viewing experience folks. Looks like they might possibly even fill a third level up there too. That's pretty interesting. At 12.19 it is starting to fill up and they indeed are using the third level balcony as well. Check this out, they're selling popcorn for uh, eating in the show. It's showtime! Uh, what was that? That 
was a non sequitur. Lucy's opening tune, and also you should probably know we landed on the moon. Also, you should really know we landed on the moon. See, I would have started with that. Well, then I guess that I'll persist, and that is just a bit of what you missed. Now, let's see what else was there. Oh, yes, ah, a wall in Berlin, Germany, went up and then came down. Steve Johnson in an apple, now he's old, she's smiling and proud. What? Oh, Thai food's so delicious, and for Star Wars, we are glad. And just in case you didn't know, God's favor is the stand. <laughs> I know, it's a lot to take in. Just, I had a date. That may have to be Phenomenal performance. I know the immediate question is going to be, what did I think of it in comparison to Aladdin or the Frozen show before it? Uh, it's hard to compare. I loved Aladdin so much. This is definitely better than Frozen, potentially better than Aladdin. Oh, wow. That was phenomenal. Fantastic. Uh, you have to come see it. Honestly, it's even worth, it's just worth telling you to do the premium experience to make sure that you get to see the show, to not miss out on the chance and have to fight the virtual queue. For $29, it really is not that bad. I mean, think about it like going to the movie theater, but this is so much better than a theater. Even though it's only 30 minutes instead of two hours, you get that popcorn bucket, you get that drink, you get the priority experience, the, the photo op, the free photo pass photo. Uh, it, honestly, it's just just do it uh, to make sure that you can come see this show. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm gonna get the Captain Everything dog here for 11.75. It's a hot pink wrapped in pizza dough topped with everything bagel seasoning. And here's a look at the Captain Everything dog. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. The shawarma is a little larger than this, so probably a bit more filling. But it's a hot link, so I love hot links. I'm gonna give it a try. It comes with this mustard cheese dip, so we're gonna check out the cheese dip as well. The same cart that I bought the Cap and Everything dog, which is right by the exit slash entrance of the Hyperion Theater. You can also get the popcorn bucket there if you did not pay for the premium experience. Again, you get the popcorn bucket as a part of the premium experience if you do that. But if you didn't, you can buy the popcorn bucket on its own for 12 something uh, at that hot dog cart. Try it without the sauce first. Good hot link, but didn't get any of the dough. I'm gonna try a bite with the mustard cheese sauce. The mustard cheese sauce, not my favorite, not the biggest fan of mustard. It was okay, but uh, the marinara, obviously, that came with the shawarma is more my speed, more my style. Um, I like hot links. I usually get the hot link corn dog from Corn Dog Castle, but I don't know. Like, I even I love the Angry Dog down at Angry Dogs. This is okay. Maybe it's just the pizza roll like wrapping that I'm not that big of a fan of. I think the shawarma is probably the better of the two items, just personally. If you're gonna be going for something over right in front of the Hyperion. Now they also have another hot dog at Award Wieners. I'm not gonna try that because I just don't have this, the um, space in my stomach to eat another full meal. 
but uh, you can give that a try as well. Check out the line for the next showing. This is the virtual queue line. It's about 1.30 at the moment, and I think the showing is at two o'clock. So they're going in very, very shortly. Now, as a reminder, virtual queues do drop at 10.30 and 2 p.m. 10.30 for the first two showings, the 12.30 and the two o'clock showing. And then at 2 p.m., they drop for the two later showings. So if you miss the first virtual queue, you can go for the second virtual queue. And that's assuming you didn't sign up for the premium viewing experience first thing in the morning when you got here. We have one final food item here to get, and we're gonna go to Schmoozie's to get that shake. And here is my red, white, and blue shake. It's got three layers to it, some whipped cream topping, which I'm gonna scrape off before we eat, uh, but I wanted you to see it before I did. All right, let's give this a try. I don't know, it's kind of like half between a milkshake and a Slurpee. Like, it's got that Slurpee texture to it, but it's supposed to be a milkshake. There's a reason why I put it in my list of nevers recent video that I did that I would never buy another milkshake from Schmoozies and I did it because I wanted a video of it but you know I love Slurpees and I love milkshakes but I just don't know if they should be blended now my first couple of sips were mostly like ice as opposed to having a lot of the ice cream the you know the cream part as I continued sipping it, I did get some more cream, and it was a little better, but I don't know. I still think that's an odd combination. Try at your own risk. It wasn't like spew it out, out of my mouth bad or anything. It was just different. It was just strange. Well, that's it for our time here today at the premiere of Rogers the Musical here at Disney California Adventure Park. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to keep watching more Disneyland videos, go ahead and click this video. Then hit the like and subscribe button for more content. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.